That's awesome. Okay, so our fighters are finally level four. So this is going to give them each uh, more th lower Thaco and more hit points. So easier to hit stuff, harder to kill. Very, very good. So that brings our two-hit armor class zero down to 12 for our uh, Strongicus, and down to only 11 for Bigly with her bow. But they are hitting lots and lots of attacks on basically everything. Okay, well, this central area seems interesting. There's definitely some stuff there. Let's explore around the fringes, because I feel like we're going to need to... It's ingot. Okay, well, a named knoll seems spooky. Let's try to get into position. Let's put this here. Uh, wretched fortress. If you go there, go to conquer. Uh, what fortress do you mean? The fortress to the west. I wish Shoros the captive when others would rather let her live within that cellar. Fools. And now my brethren make me an exile from my clan. Hear me. I shall taste her flesh yet. Okay. Um. Oh, so this is the map where the Knoll Fortress is. That must be the place to the west then. Because that's the Knoll Fortress over here in the gray area. Well, then let's definitely clear out everything else first. Um, and because that seems pretty spooky. And we will go from there. Once again, we're just going to hold Jeff back and have everybody else plink at this wolf with ranged attacks. While stronger because tanks. Let's see. Just want to avoid all this. It's a bear. We could try to take that bear on. That's a pretty good chunk of XP. 650 is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, let's knock out this bear. Okay. Well, we've almost got everything except for the fortress explored. I'm a little wary about going into the fortress with just a couple heals left. Triad of the Cloud Peaks and Caldo. So a dryad approaches us and says, Please, kind spirits, a wondrous ancient oak is in peril. It is about to be attacked by two who would defile the majesty of nature. They have avoided my charms and must be stopped before irreparable harm is done. Would you heed my plea? Um, let's see, so dryads generally are good. Um, only the basest villains would take advantage of a gentle forest spirit. Lead on, and I will deal with them. I thank you, for although they seem deem of wit, they could still do much damage. This way. I guess she leads me over here. I have Jeff over there. I've got this. I see, so this must be the tree in question. Um, let's talk to Kroom. Actually, hold up. Let's have Strongicus talk to the guy with the axe. Um, okay, so the guy with the axe is not listening. I'm called, uh, this is my brother Crumb. He says, I don't know who you are, but I'll not have you sneaking about us, about behind us while we work. We think there's treasure in this tree, and if you want to get up front and help, do it. Otherwise, me and Crumb will do something 
Uh, well, something really nasty. Ain't that right, Crumb? You don't really want to do this, do you? Just think how beautiful this tree is. It's truly a wonder of nature. Well, if you're not going to help, I ain't going to let you sit and watch us do it. You was probably going to rob us when we're done, weren't you? Me and Crumb don't cotton to bandits one bit, do we, Crumb? What? Oh, okay, well, I guess we're killing him. Sure. Uh, so... I think we need to... Let's let's treat this like it's a really hard encounter. I don't actually know the difficulty level here. Um, so let's have Bigly whip out melee and go for Crumb. And we're going to micro Madam Stab Slots directly down to get out of Bigly's way here. Uh, so she can just charge straight in. Okay, there we go. So that should work. And now she can go back and start... Chucking those ranged attacks with everybody else. Yeah, this is going really smoothly already. So I can see this is not a particularly hard fight, it seems. But just wanted to be careful in case uh, these turned out to be some <laughs> absolute monsters. You never know with SCS. Let's see. Okay, well, a lot of misses, actually. So this, this one does have some pretty good AC. But we're also just getting terrible rolls. All right, there we go. Now he's dead. Ooh, okay, so some awesome items, actually. I don't know what these items do, but they're they're magical. Pretty cool. Oh, right, Jeff is too far away. Bring Jeff back. Okay. So... Some darts over to Jeff. Uh, check out these items that they just dropped. Yeah, I guess what about this one? Okay, so he didn't really drop anything interesting. Fine. This one dropped interesting stuff. Plug plus one. That's convenient. And a girdle I can't identify, so we'll have to figure that out later. Plus one club is very nice to have. You want it? You got it. Let's see if this dryad has anything for us. Is that also a plus one club? No, it's just a normal club. Okay. Uh, thanks be to you. Here is a potion that might help you on your journeys. She gives me an antidote. O okay. I guess. I mean, that's that's kind of helpful. <laughs> Not very expensive. But... Don't worry about me. Sure. Um. We found a quest. And we did the quest. Very nice. Okay, and then I guess that leaves the Null Stronghold. Which we are in uh, excellent shape for. Minus our lack of heals. Okay. Direwolf. Toast. Ooh, Halbert. <laughs> That's not good. Um, so Bigley's halberd just broke, which is unfortunate. Don't worry about me. That's another reason we probably would want to take a step back. There's a cave there. Ooh, interesting. I'm really curious about this cave, though. Let's check this out. This might give us an excuse to use a heal. I've got this. Uh... I feel like I, I worry that that is trap. Let's try to detect traps. Maybe not trapped. As you wish. Okay. Excellent, Halberd. What are the odds? Okay. I mean, I guess guaranteed, you know, but still, <laughs> that's convenient. All right, is our Halberd broke? Okay, well. I've got this. Let's see, so I think then, how would we even get into the fortress? Yeah, uh, I don't see a way up. I thought that that was the way up.
Go over here. You know, I, mean, I guess we've got all these heals. Could try to just rest out here. Let's do that. Oh, speaking of halberds. Direction of the halberd. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I definitely will. I would like to get a magical halberd at some point. That would be convenient. Um, so that I have magical weapons for her other than arrows. I thought there was supposed to be a fortress here. Is there not a stronghold here? Guess not. Maybe the gnome stronghold to the west is, um, like, not on this map. Oh, we can walk behind this. That's cool. Pretty Oh. Oh, your cat is not okay. Um, Pixie, my cat, she was playing close to the waterfall and slipped. I hope she's alright. Uh, yeah. It's alright, she's done this before. I guess Daddy will just have to raise her again. Here, you can have this scroll Daddy gave me. I can't read the words yet anyways. I got a protection scroll. <laughs> Only mostly dead. Uh, that's funny. Okay, well. Um, alright, well. Let's see then. I guess that's an achievement. That counts. Okay, and there's nothing really else to click on up here. Okay. Alright, well, never mind. I guess uh, there is not a null stronghold to the west of this map. There is a null stronghold to the west from this map. Can I wrap? Um, so, I mean, I can, like, wrap along. I can't freestyle. I, I'm not really very good at freestyling. There are some um, some rappers that I work with, but I mostly I do production, so I'm a producer primarily. But I have a lot of respect for rappers. I think it's really impressive. Um, that lyricism amazes me. I, I I more compose. The far left side of the map on a knoll named Ingot. Oh, I sh I should have killed him. I think he walked away. I talked to him. But he left. Um, I, I don't know if he's still there. Darn. <laughs> yeah, he told me about the, the stronghold and he just walked away. I definitely should have killed him. In hindsight, he was talking about how he was going to, he was going to like taste somebody's blood. <laughs> if Dinah here is there. Interesting. Yeah, he just chatted with me. Um, okay, well, let's take a room. It's gonna bring us up to full, because we have those healing spells cast on rest. Active, and, um, so now we're gonna get out of here again. I think at this point we have a few good options. Uh, the Null Stronghold is probably a good choice. A lot of XP, we're not stuck there if we go to try to do it. Um, and... There's also some other places we just straight up haven't gone yet, and that's 52 hours away, which is just so much travel time. Um, oh, right, right. I wanted to uh, I wanted to take a brief break when um, we rested. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Okay, so let's figure out what to do now. Hmm. So the mines are the main quest, which means we're going to avoid that. 
not do it. Let's go ahead and bring these winter wolf pelts by the store. Find out how much those are worth and just get them out of our bag. That's probably the first priority. I think we just want to keep exploring the maps, honestly. We just want to keep running into stuff, getting into shenanigans until there's literally nothing else to do and then go to Nashkel. Oh, mines. Okay, hey, 500. Is, is that eat for each one? Um, oh. Okay, well, he was only just one. A bit closer to civilization. Well, let's see, what's this protection scroll? From undead, nice. That's a good protection scroll. What's this girdle and... Ooh, okay. Pretty legit items there. I have to uh, go through these in case you're not familiar with what these items do. So we got the Destroyer of the Hills, which gives you plus four armor class versus crushing attacks. That is amazing. A very, very strong defensive items. And the Dale's Protector, which gives you plus two they go with missile weapons. Um, these are otherwise known as the Bracers of Archery. Now, if you don't know how Thaco works, um, this game works on a D20 system. Um, that is, every time you make an attack, it rolls a 20-sided die. Um, and there are a whole bunch of calculations that are done. You can see some of them uh, listed here. Strength modification, proficiency, uh, plus two. All that, and that affects um, the roll that you get. Say if you roll, like, a 7 on the die, it might actually be an 11, because your bonus is all total up to plus 4. Um, so, uh, everybody's Thaco determines how good they are at hitting uh, armor class 0. That's what that stands for, 2-hit armor class 0. So, if this character rolls above a 12 against somebody with an armor class of 0, then the attack will hit. Um, if they have, say, an armor class of negative three, then our character strong because here would need to roll a 15 uh, rather than a 12. That's the idea. Um, so getting a plus two to Thaco um, is extraordinary. That is really, really a substantial bonus here. Um, oh, but it's only with missile weapons. What? Wait a minute. Oh, that's it. Yes, here. There we can see. 11 to 9. Uh, so to hit armor class uh, negative 3, uh, she only needs to roll a 12. Very, very good. So armor class works very differently in this game than it did uh, in the last one. And let's go ahead and just put that Destroyer of the Hills on Strongacus, because we don't really need... Um, or rather, we need him to be as tanky as possible. So off these splint mails some jewelry. I think we're good there. Nothing really to buy here. I guess we could pick up this plate mail, actually. That's probably a good idea. Wait, she can't use plate mail, can she? Ah, ah, what a waste. Um, I don't think anybody can use this. Ding. Someone. Oh, hey, there we go. Actually. Yes. Never mind. The plate mail was a good choice. Um, but we're a little bit reorganized here. So what I had to do is put the Encake plate mail on our cleric here. Um, actually, yeah, because she can't wear plate mail. And I accidentally bought a set of plate mail thinking she could. Um, so now our Dwarven Defender is in plate mail along with Bigly. They're both at minus one. And God's Plan here is also at minus one because she's wearing the Ankeg plate mail. So this is among the best armors that the Cleric, I think, can ever wear. Uh, which is pretty rad. So we'll definitely keep her in that, I think. Um... So that's very, very good. Okay, so we're putting things together here. We're getting the squad 
going. Um, getting some really, really good items here. Put some of these arrows in her bag. Looks like we can sell that off now. Okay, and these winter wolf pelts we can sell uh, later on, but we can't sell right now. You want it? You've got it. But we'll have to uh, hold off on that. Don't worry about me. But they are pretty valuable, so we might as well lug them around a bit. We've got the carry capacity at least. All right, so who's leveling next? Like our Scald hits uh, five soon. Fighters are a long way from five, but our Thief is right there. And our Mage should hit four around the same time. We should be getting three levels eventually. There's a lot of places we can go. I don't remember which of these are not done yet. I feel like we haven't cleared out this spot. You have been waylaid by enemy okay, well, what enemies? I see no enemies. Are the enemies invisible? It appears not. Don't worry about me. Okay, it's an ogre, I see. All right then. All right, all right. Probably gonna die, yep. He's having a bad time. I've got this. Wreck not having a good day here. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, yeah. We did visit this map once before, but did not fully explore it. So let's check that out. Let's finish exploring this map. was predictably quite empty. All right, all right. Oh, just gonna have Jeff hang way back. Ah, this is the Spark Village. Okay. This is, I was looking for this spot. So this would be scary. You monster! You kill us when we do nothing to you! Well, Ursu kill you. Ursa protect us because Ursa kind. Uh, oh, that's a bear. That's a that's a that's a great cave bear. Okay, well. Um How about we all shoot the cave bear? And maybe maybe just maybe Jeff fires off a sleep spell. So yeah, we're good. We win. Easily done. Okay. Um, but there are still a lot of them. So let's definitely kill them. do here is just put several of my ranged characters each attacking a different Svart. 
go, and that will make them go down a bit faster. Another one. Go, oh, Jeff's target is gone. Stab Slot's target is gone. Okay, there we go, and then now we can focus on this one. We can just work through the sleeping ones. Okay, that's the big spark. A few more of them here. You can see there's quite a lot of them. Okay, and they can just each attack a different target. <laughs> Doing great here. Carrying him up, barely taking any damage. Right. Very nice. That's got that done. Now I have to ex <laughs> Yes. Indeed. You want it? You yeah, but I mean, look at all this XP and loot. You know, my characters are the good guys. That means they go around murdering monsters, right? Monsters. Wow, this is, these are really small amounts of gold. <laughs> A lot of these has some stuff worth something. It might be that one over here. So oh, I thought I dropped that. Yeah, sandstone gem. That one is worth quite a bit. You want it? You want okay. Uh, so yes, Sparkberg is is gone. No longer, no longer Sparts. was a thing. Oh wait, there's a few more. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I guess did they just like respawn or how does that even work? I don't know. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. But, uh, Strongest Regnum. I actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about any peace negotiations. But that's a quest line I have. I missed that one.
Is it peace negotiation between the Svarts and the Kobolds? That that would make sense. You want it? You've got it. I mean, I would be happier if I got some better loot, honestly. I mean, it was self-defense. Technically, they attacked me. They had red circles and everything. Bored. <laughs> Why, looky here. A finer bunch of adventurers I don't think I've ever seen. Hmm, though, from the looks of it, you don't seem to be that well-equipped. Well, you're in a lot of luck. I can solve all your problems. I have a huge collection of potions and scrolls, all for a cheap price. Right now, I can give you a potion of extra healing for 25 gold, a scroll of po a protection from petrification for 25 gold, or a scroll of protection from magic for 100 gold. So what do you say? Um... Uh, well, we've already got... Let's see, well, protection for petrification could be helpful. I think that protection from magic is what I want. Where did that wind up? Identify this. Oh, can't use that until we identify it. I've got this. There's more farts. Smacked up. Okay. And Major W. Alright. So from here, though. I think this map is mostly cleared. I guess good, they stayed gone. No more attacking human settlements for you. Ooh, a cave! Fun. I bet it's dangerous. Let's go in. Don't worry about me. There's a bear. was a bear, there is no longer a bear. Let's check for traps. Okay. It's fine, okay. Excellent flail and some magical bracers. AC8, okay. So that's actually pretty helpful for uh, Jeff here, bringing his AC down to 8 from 10. Nice. 
his or his base AC rather. His dexterity modifier brings that down to uh, a little bit lower. And then this flail will be worth some money since it's an excellent flail. You can grab that too. Nice. You want it? You've got it. Let's see, looks like there's some more Zvarts. These guys are not scary at all at this point. Bit of gold here and there. Don't worry about what me. they represent. We've got most of this map explored then. No special secret hidden area back here. I guess not. Hmm. Okay, well, unless we can get up on top of this reed, this ridge. Maybe we can. Okay. Can't get that. Let's check over here. Just want to make sure we're not overlooking stuff. We wiped out Svartberg. But I guess while we're here, let's um, get the north map exit. Okay. Don't worry about me. You want to go probably out the west. We'll meander on over there. Oh, right. We checked the map exit. So these these. Oops, we'll respond. Or respawn, rather. As you can see, um, Zvartberg keeps returning and returning. If we wanted 15 experience per kill and a pittance of gems, we could, I guess, farm this, but we're not going to do that. going to not do that. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, this is wrong, actually. I have to go with that way. Apparently you can't go up from there. Wanting to get to this part of the map. We wouldn't want any problems. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that you uh, you had sent that message. I didn't know where I was. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, if you're still here, uh, so are you? I'm only actually just now scrolling up and seeing you had sent the other message first about the peace negotiations. Alas, too little too late. Um, let's check this map, I think. Okay, yeah, we hadn't quite finished exploring this one either. Let's explore this. And we can, um... Take on some of these other maps nearby. Only too late because of my bloodlust. This is true, yes. We are a little bit murder hobo y. Just, just a wee, a, a, a touch of murder hobo. If it's got a red circle, it's gotta go. But in all honesty, I uh, I was unaware that peace negotiations were actually possible in that quest line. Don't worry um, about me. I I <laughs> that is news to me that that is a quest. So 
I guess I've always murder hoboed them. Um, I'm surprised these gnolls aren't being more aggressive. I'm definitely gonna send Jeff to back up. What is happening? Thrist? Hold up. What? Um... I mean, he's fine, right? He's frizzed. He's not even hurt. <laughs> you there. Will you help a stranger in need? I am beset by gnolls. I mean, he's probably fine. He's frizzed to Erden. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it isn't possible. I see. Um, let's see. Uh, fear not. We will not stand aside while another is in peril. The fight is joined, and I welcome your aid. Tiresome beasts these gnolls are, and I'll be glad to be done with them. It's like a, a legendary gnoll hero, or a legendary drow hero. Uh, um, yeah, don't anticipate that uh, Drizzt here is going to have any trouble with these gnolls, but um, we're going to make sure that he does Get up the kills. Easy peasy. You can see Drizzt is still unharmed. We could, at this point, try to kill Drizzt, but uh, we can't. Um, not even remotely or like anywhere close to it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is not happening. I'm pretty sure he's level 9. Um... Yeah. No way. Yeah. NPC takes for his loot and reprimands you. That's interesting. I didn't know about the, um... Ooh, 15, you say? Wow, <laughs> that's so much. Yeah, I don't even know if level 9 is right for Driz. I know he's strong. You have to pretty much mislead Cheese him, I think, at this point. I think that's the, the only way that I know of, at least to do it fairly easily, is to use mislead. Sixteen. Wow. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, he's a hero. He's like a, a well-known brow hero. So that that does sound correct. Wait, is he not gonna is he not gonna talk to me? Excuse me, sir. Hi, ah, yes, there you go. Well met, stranger. I am Drizzt Dorden, and I appreciate your assistance. It is a long enough trip to the Icewind Dale, even without these constant interruptions. I do not recall banditry being of such epidemic proportions in this area. How long has this been so? Um, it was not always thus, and I strive to return peace to these lands. Noble goals indeed, and ones I would hold dear myself. Your struggle will be difficult, for the bandits I, that I have encountered, being beset at every turn as I am, are no mere vagabonds with blades. The humans bear the style of the Black Talons, and the Hobgoblins that of the Chill. Mercenary groups both of them, and as such it is unlikely they are the architects of this endeavor. You would do well to insinuate yourself into their ranks and determine their true masters. Difficult, but not impossible, and potentially the most fruitful course. This is sage advice, which I will heed. Know that I will think well of you on your journey. Interesting. So perhaps we do a little bit of subterfuge. Some deception, perhaps. Go. Well, that's cool. We saved him. You want it? You've got it. I guess probably he saved us more like it.
Seems a deadly sort of fellow, according to our journal. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. He's, uh, he's quite dangerous. Well. 16. Wild. Very well. I've got this. A bear. Okay, well. Yeah. Jeff is gonna run away, as usual. He's bigly taking a hit there. Let's get a heal. We'll use one of the light heals on her. enough. Don't worry about me. So it's been some pretty solid adventuring here. Um, we have not had to heal very much at all. Still got lots and lots of gas in the tank. Hobgoblin, you there. I need some money and some healing. If you know what's good for you, you'll give it to me. You gotta be kidding. You're one Hobgoblin. Why should we do anything but kill you? I'm a member of the Chill, the mercenary band. If you want all of my friends breathing down your neck, then just keep on pissing me off. You're threatening us? I think you've got things mixed up, you degenerate, foul-smelling beast. Before we end your miserable life, you should do some begging, and maybe throw in information about these chills. Wait, hey, I'm sorry. Just don't kill me, please. I'll, I'll tell you about the chill. Go on. The chill are a group of mercenaries. They're part of the group who's been raiding the merchant caravans. I just got lost in a raid a couple days back. Some of the flaming fist had been dog in my steps. There, I've told you what you wanted to hear. Okay. Okay, well, and now Noel have decided to attack me. I guess I'll kill them instead. Um, except for Jeff is going to run away. Very good job, Jeff. Good running. I'll just keep on doing that. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I believe this should be fun. Yeah. Yeah, gnolls aren't too scary. Back them up. Very nice. One gold. Okay, well. You've got it. Sure. I guess that one gold is in the RNG table. Okay. Bit of a walk around here. Mm hmm. There's something in the middle of the lake there. Looks like there might be. Oh, another enemy? Oh, poor dog, I see. Uh, Jeff? No, sir. There's a lot of dogs. Okay, 
Okay, this is fine. bit of micro there to uh, get our targeting correct. And that should have our targeting right. There we go. Okay. Got rid of those. Uh, <laughs> Tengen. Stop where you are. If you throw down your weapons and cooperate then no one will be hurt. If you don't, then you'll all die. A very simple decision on your part. What is it you want with us, and who are you? My name is Ten Tengen, and this is my girl, Jembi. The ugly one is Sakar. What we want is your money. Hand over all your cash, and you'll be unharmed. Before you do anything rash, think it over a while. I'm sure your life is worth more than the little gold you might possess. Greedy bandits. You infest your ro our roads with your stink. Draw steel. Stupid. Stupid. Now you die. Okay, well, uh, I don't like him being there. I guess we run him back. Let's see. Okay, we'll send them in. Let's start shooting arrows at them. I believe that mirror, minor spell deflection and mirror image. So neither of those are really a big deal for us. Um, we want to just start knocking out those mirror images as quick as we can. Yeah, he's already hurt pretty bad. Um, now, Tangan, it looks like, is walking towards my characters here. Let's bring them back. Let's take God's Plan over here. We've got a bit of a traffic jam here. But I think, yes, okay. By sending uh, the face and Madam Stabslot up into the left with Strongicus and God's Plan down into the right, we were able to bring them to bear against the intended target. And now we'll have these ones micro back. We'll have all of our targets focus on Jimby with their ranged attacks. Perfect, okay. So the mage, which is the scariest one, is gone. Um, let's try to free up our tanks. You um, let's see. Actually, wait, wait. We'll send Bigly into melee against the car. That work. Um, and everybody else can focus on Tankin. That way, the car can't keep shooting those arrows. Yes, and we can have everybody chase up now. All right. Looks like we got a robe. That's exciting. Maybe it's good. And uh, since that guy has a bow, let's send Jeff back. Just in case he decides to randomly shoot an arrow. Unsure. Oh, Brenwin is a cleric of Tempest. Oh, uh, that's pretty funny. I hadn't thought about that, actually. I, um, I don't actually remember most of the... Uh... Oh, gosh. We're poisoned pretty bad. Um, I don't actually remember most of the characters from the original game. Um, Tori Fool. I'm gonna do that. Do that. So, um, yeah, many of these characters I do not know anymore, although I'm sure I used to. I'm glad that that is amusing. That's good. Better content on accident. I like that. The scalps of bandits. Yeah, I just kind of picked the portraits based on feel. Ooh, let's go. We got some spells. All right. What's this robe do? Mage robe of fire resistance. Hey, it's better than no mage robe. Which is what we had before, so I can get behind it. Lots of spells. More bandit scalps. Oh yeah. Things are looking good over here. We definitely need to get back up to um 
the friendly arms so we can get one of those potions of genius, though. That's, uh... I'm on it. I want to learn some of these spells. I've got this. That'll be a good experience dump as well, because um, when you manage to successfully write spells to your spellbook, you get XP based on the level. I would kind of like to pick up more spells first, so maybe we save that and try to get to Baldur's Gate. I don't actually know if I'm allowed to go to Baldur's Gate at this stage of the game. Is Baldur's Gate even open? If it is, then it would be great to go to Sorceress Sundries. Another skeleton down. Yep, just hanging out in the back. Go. Don't worry about me. Let's see if there's anything on this little island. It's a dude. Anything I can do for you? A hearty welcome to you. Come to test your mettle against the denizens of the waters, have you? A fine profession it is, and I've not enjoyed myself so in ages. Simply ages. You stay by the water in case the villagers come at you with torches, don't you? I fail to catch your meaning, eh? Catch? Yeesh, quite the stoish bunch of prudes, aren't you? No matter, I shall put the brightest shine on your day that I can, regardless of how unappreciative the audience. Torlo appreciates my good humor, don't you, Torlo? I say, don't you, Torlo? A bit moody, that fellow. Who is Torlo? It's Torlo coming to kill me. You want it? You got it? I don't see a Torlo anywhere. Maybe he's just crazy. That's Torlo. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. Well, that's the whole. That's the map. Um. Let's go west. Okay, so a long journey. You need to keep that in mind. Don't want to get into too many shenanigans here. And I've only got... I've got almost all my heals left still. Do I still have sleep? I don't still have sleep, which is noteworthy. Beat up on this bear. Ah. I've got this. Okay, that's that's this is this is what I dislike. Um Okay, I guess let's have God's plan go into melee. And try to like body block a bit here. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Sure. I've Dead bear. Okay, poor micro there. My bad. Don't uh, do not do that. Be more careful with your micro against the cave bears. But it worked out. Okay, there's some dogs. I don't think they're going to attack me, though, because... Oh, well, they are going to attack me, though. They have decided to run. Sure. Okay. 
Oh, there's a little bridge across here. That's cool. I wonder if there's something to the south. So, you know, let's check the map exit later. That's Loy, okay. Throw out a few of these. Looks like no more spell scrolls here. That's okay. We have gotten pretty lucky with our spell scroll drops so far, so it's alright if we don't see them in these random packs. This map is huge. On Baruch's land, Baruch says, "Go away." So go. Who is this Baruch, and what is he going to do about it? Me, Baruch, and you make me angry. Attack them. Okay, well, yes, Baruch is going to attack us. That's all right. Okay, wow, that's Kobold Commandos. Just just there, huh? Alright, um I guess that was mostly lucky hits. But um Jeff definitely Oh Jeff is poison. Okay, um Looks like we're running a bit low on antidotes as well. Oh man, those flame arrows really hurt. And I feel like they shouldn't be hitting as often as they are. Oh crap, I cancelled the heal. I hate that you can do that. Makes me screech. That could uh that could actually cost us a reset here. Let's see. Um Wow, there's so many. Why are there so many? Okay, um, and of course it was like I canceled a heal. Like, oh man. Oh and Jeff is totally toast. Like there's no way Jeff gets out here if he gets attacked. Oh my gosh, what is doing so much damage? I just Yeah. Such bad timing here. On these Tesla encounters. Three encounters like crammed into a tiny space here. Of course. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. These Kobold Commandos are wild. Like, I don't under- they're so lucky. These are like the luckiest Kobolds. What is happening? Come on. Okay, finally it dies. Oh my gosh, so many misses. It landed, those kobolds landed so many crits to, to actually get through and hit Strongacus down so low. That was wild. But I think we're past the, the worst part of this fight. It should be okay. For Wow, that was ex extensive. I could use a little patching up. Sorted. Hey. I 
I think we need to get the heck out of here, though. Even though that was, I'm pretty sure, just a random encounter. Or it was, but it was two random encounters and a quest encounter. Yikes. That hurt. We need to get the heck out of here. For sure, for sure. Let's pick up the fire arrows, I guess. And uh, drop a couple heals first. Hmm. Yeah, it would be good if we walked across the map as well. But um, so let's walk back south. This way, we can exit out the right. You're trespassing and now murdering. This is the second time. Well, yeah, I mean, they're monsters. They don't, they don't have, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, rights? Yeah, that. Uh. And besides, that was self-defense. That was self-defense. Okay, he attacked me on on land that he claimed. But again, you know, he doesn't get to claim it because he's he's a hobgoblin. And that's not how it works. He wanted to claim the land. He should, he should use money and and buy it from the people who are selling it, or like I don't know, engage in the civil aspects of society. Rather than just claim it and kill people who trespass on it. Trespass. Ah, they're bandits. I think uh, murdering bandits is perfectly fine. But yeah, uh, it is worth noting this this party is uh, chaotic, like, a bit, and also, like, halfway between neutral and good. So, they, uh, a lot of, let's see, actually crabbed. Uh, am, I, am I out of healing? I've got this. You have been I by thought that might happen. Like good, I think, is our primary motivation, you know? But, uh, yeah, there isn't much in the way of, like, you want it? You've got it. being reasonable about how that good is attained. Um, no, I mean, if you're a bandit, you're getting stabbed. That's, yep. You want it? That's how this party handles things. Kind of like, uh, I would think, like, lawful stupid, like the paladins. A lot of paladins are. I like that. Okay, so we're limping back to Nashville. After, uh, a pretty intense encounter there with two random encounters and... Um, some dude claiming to patrol the area, but uh, it's now my area, 